Hey guys, welcome back for more Tales of Berserk. So today we're gonna follow Aizen and Zavid. So let's continue. Come on. Solid Toma, this is awful as I remember. I'd hoped I'd never have to drink it again. Are you all right, Eleanor? Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> What does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu, here's your dose of Solitoma. No! Get back here! D don't! Keep that salad away from... I see... The sweet taste of another suffering. Okay, another one. An illogical bunch. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you... stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to, but getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes. It would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well... At the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical. Yeah. I don't know quite how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone? Hmm? Uh, Magi Lu is traveling with us, even though she doesn't care. And that... Yes? Go on. I don't really understand what that's about. Uh. Oh, Miss Magi Lu, hang in there! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. Okay, let's submit this. Uh... Okay, do we have new ones? Frenzied Wolf. A portion of the expanded BG will be restored. Okay, let's talk to this before we leave. Uh, not you, but... Kurugani daggers. Yeah. I did not even equip this. I forgot, right? <laughs> okay, let's enhance this. Cassandra Sash. Hello there. You're headed to Loringen Tower too? Just a bit ago, a brawny silver-haired man asked me how to get there. Did he say why he was going there? Something about meeting some friends of his. Exorcists use that tower to train, right? If he has exorcist friends, then maybe he's one too. But he seemed a bit rough and tumble to be an exorcist. I can't imagine a man like him. Did he say anything else? He said someone else might stop by and ask about the tower, and told me to tell him if they do. Did he mean you? <sighs> no clue. So he was planning on us following him. What's he scheming? 
You mean Zavid? Or the Abbey? Both. Okay, Moringan so... Tower lies beyond the Burnak Plateau. Blah! If you're gonna set up an obvious trap, couldn't it at least be someplace more convenient? Okay, so we need to go to the north. Like, that's the only choice. We went to the uh, east side already. So the Burnak... Burnak Plateau is up there. Let's get it. Oh yeah, we saw a wolf, right? The way did it go here? Oh my god, I didn't see. I was just following the bridge. Hey, we should have head to the left side. Okay, let's get this chest. Life bottles. Yeah, I haven't bought any items. How about I buy some life bottles? Okay, let's change. Uh, let's put Rokuro. I'll put Magilo back on. Because Rokuro has upgraded weapons. <sighs> What's wrong, said? I was just wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't work together to find Eifried. All men their age care about is their reputation, their street cred. Such a hassle. Oh. Really? Well, I can't fully deny it. <sighs> the same could be said of women. And of everyone, really. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. And if you can't? Well, um... It's like Zavid said. You start talking with your fists instead. Sounds harder than I thought. What is the name of the tower again? Lo... Lothringen? Lo... Logren. Okay. The wolf is here. A foe Dang worth you. killing! Is weak to water! We need Magdalene! Nine hundred damage. Deception. No escape. No escape. Deception. No escape. No escape. You won't get away. Oh, Luffy said, "Run." Deception. No escape. No escape. Turn the whip. Tight, tight. No escape. No escape. Hold on. Heal, 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 heal. So they only have one soul. No mercy. Wounds I won't heal. Cards in the flesh. Lethal pain. Down. No escape. It was a close one, but I am the victor. Brunhild. Here we go. Uh, dude, what is the Luminaire? Okay, I didn't see it, didn't see. Okay, this one, yes, yes, yes. Brunhild. Earth and water. Yeah, I didn't check this. I should have checked this, right? If we could upgrade it to a much better piece. I mean, we can, but... Uh, like, how much is it gonna add, is what I mean. Okay, we're here. Aizen! 
Did you get the medicine to the ship's crew? Yeah. Good. My thanks to you. These soldiers won't be happy in the morning, but they're alive. Is this your work? No. They were like this when I got here. It must have been Zavid. He didn't kill a single one. Interesting. The Abbey is going to great lengths to arrest him. Even so, he clearly knows he's walking into a trap. What I don't get is why he roped me into all of this. If he didn't want my help, then what need did he have to play the Eifried card on me? If you knew this was a trap, why did you come? To see for myself. When I met Eifried, I was wallowing in despair that I would ever find a way to break the Reaper's curse. Stop denying reality, he told me. If you were really born with that curse, then it's a part of you. But if the Reaper learns to grasp the wheel of his life, even he may find his creed, his path through stormy waters. And so, I joined him aboard the Von Eltia. A creed of life. Let's say someone's murdered the captain. If it came as the result of him living life on his terms, I could accept that. Hmm. But if anyone, and I mean anyone, tries to crush his way of life, I could never forgive them. Who's there? It's rude to eavesdrop. If you got secrets, talk about them at home. Zavid, isn't there any way you and Aizen can work together somehow? Not if he's going to keep acting like this. <clears throat> well, that's how it is. What was the point of all that posturing? He could have just stayed hidden. Weirdo. Can't disagree there. Oh, we got a new one. Okay. So, Exorcist ranks. Loringen Tower is a training ground for Exorcist, right? Yes. It's a great edifice built on ancient ruins. Luffy said. Did you ever go there when you were tethered to Teresa? I don't really remember the beginning of my service to Teresa. I see. What sort of training do they do there? Exorcists are tested and assigned Malachim equivalent to their aptitude with mana. It's also where they practice Malak arts and study our laws. So the lower ranks use it as a sparring ground in order to train up to the higher ranks? No, an exorcist's affinity to mana is not something that strengthens through training. We are given Malachim based on our inborn ability, then learn arts to suit that ability. So, an orderly is an orderly for life, then? Correct. There'd be no spirit of competition, then. Don't they want to get stronger, to advance through the ranks? There'd be no purpose to advancement. Rank signifies nothing more than the type and number of Malachim one can tether. People join the Abbey for only two reasons. To protect people from demons, and to save the world. Are all of you that dedicated to asceticism? How sickeningly noble of you. I wonder if your wills are suppressed just like those of the Malachim you use. Deviants like you could never possibly understand our motives. In any case, that is who awaits you at Loringen Tower. So we're in for a rough welcome. I say bring it on. Okay, a brawler, not a killer. I can't wrap my head around Zavid. Hmm. We witnessed his unwillingness to kill before, but it seems he's quite serious about it. Maybe that's why I don't feel scared of him. Even when he and Aizen were about to fight, I didn't feel tense at all. Perhaps that's just because you've been around Velvet a bit too long, kiddo. Next to her, few people are frightening. Do you think so? Don't ask me. <laughs> he doesn't come across as vicious. I think that's why you're not scared. Because he's just a brawler? <laughs> Maybe he's just naive. Okay, so he's just a naive brawler. He's still involved with Eifried's disappearance. And he's also taking on the Abbey. I just don't get him. Me neither. Uh-huh. I agree, but... I don't understand any of you, either. Okay, 145. We don't have anything. Okay, we don't have anything, so let's just continue. To Lothringen. I keep saying Lothringen. It, it is very, uh... 
Like, if you remove some of the letters, it's no good. I don't get green. it. Get what? Why did Eifried let Aizen join a ship, knowing he carried the Reaper's curse with him? What good did it do? I just don't see the reason behind it. Well, if it were me who had that curse, it would mean that you and Velvet could die because of it, right? Yeah, I suppose so. If that's the case, then I'd feel like I'd both want to and not want to be close to you two. And I'd probably really, really hate myself for it. Do you suppose that's how Aizen feels? But Eifried still took him in. He agreed they put up with the curse together. It's all a bit hard to fathom. Well, if one thing's for certain, it sounds like Eifried's a very strong man. At least for a base lawless pirate. We will need to be extremely wary. You won't get away. Just how does this sword work? Don't touch it. You'll hurt yourself. In other words, the rest of her is fair game. Not unless you really want to. Aizen? Can I ask you about that thing Zavid had? It belonged to Ifri, didn't it? I've read much of the Abbey's archives and weaponry, but I've never seen anything like it. He found it when we crossed to the Far Continent. It's a relic from a long-vanished civilization. He's like me and can't resist a good treasure. But of everything we've found, that one was his most prized. What is it? I can't say. It seemed like a weapon, but Eifried wouldn't let anyone touch it. He went off and tested it on his own. Then came back all grinning, saying he had an ace up his sleeve the next time we got into a fight. Then it's definitely some sort of ancient combat device? But why is Zavid looking for Eifried? To apologize for stealing it? He doesn't seem like that much of a gentleman. Did he really steal it? What do you mean? It's just my feeling, but... Zavid doesn't seem like the type of Moloch to steal something so precious. He said he just picked it up. Perhaps he's trying to return it. Perhaps. Oh we my god! We will need to be extremely wary! <laughs> See this? 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 See Okay, is this it? Is this slaughtering in? Ah, uh, no, this is not slaughtering in. This is Voltigern, right? Yeah, it's. it's I don't think we have a chance! <laughs> We come back. To, we came back here. There was a, a way. <laughs> Voltigern, remember Voltigern, the one uh, where we destroyed the, the huge battleship. Now, rise, arise, ascending, angel. Okay, nice, Magilu. Nice. Welp, that about does it. Shadow Stepper, full right, old daggers, look. You can uh, dismantle all of them. 
very nice. Okay, this is Logren. No one on guard. Lofring, I mean. They're really not bothering to hide this trap. They probably knew we'd sense it. The question now is just what they're planning to spring on us. Lothringen. I mean, look, it's the same as Logren, right? Yeah, in Log, in this tier, this tower is broken, and it's named the Logren. Like, look, it's the same this side. I mean, uh, the stairs, yes, the stairs is the same. I mean, very cool, right? The connections to the other game. I mean, even though it's just small. Like, it's pretty nice. Eighteen twenty gold. Aizen, when and how did Ifri disappear exactly? And how did you two meet in the first place? You know... You ask an awful lot of questions about us. What? I don't mean to pry, really. Perhaps it's a habit I picked up from my work. Drat. It seems I've been digging too hard. No matter. Eifried vanished about a year ago. <sighs> he agreed to fight a duel against someone, and secretly left to meet his opponent. Once we figured out what was happening, we rushed to the scene. But all we found was the aftermath of a fight. And a pendulum. Was Zavid his opponent? Given his choice of weapon and his ability to fight, I'd say it's likely. What I don't get is why Eifried would end up captured and imprisoned by the Abbey after a fight with a stray Moloch. The Abbey had him prisoner? On their island. Until an exorcist named Melchior took him away, that is. What? Lord Melchior did? The Abbey would have captured Eifried about a year ago. Surely it must have caused quite a stir. I was simply patrolling. I wasn't involved in any such operations. Oh, but I do remember that we suffered a great number of casualties around that time. I never heard why, and when I went to investigate, I found no records of any major deployment. And then I was ordered to cease any such investigation by Lord Melchior. That's fishy. He wanted to hide something, clearly. And I think I'm starting to get a picture of what it was. And... It involves the Abbey? It involves the Abbey. Yeah, what do they want with Ifri? I hope we see him. Saffron? Yeah, because there was a Ifri, right? Ifri? Ifri hunting grounds in Zestiria. So his pretty. I want to see him. Halberd. Weaker, but stronger to the end did. Okay, we need to level this up. Okay, who is that? Is that Eifried? Eifried. So, this is Von Eifried. Aizen, it's good to see you again. So you're alive. You could have sent a letter. <laughs> when have you ever written a letter to another man? <laughs> True. Aside from my little brother, not even once. Your brother? Ah, yes. You told me that once. A little brother? Aizen, why? Oh, I've fake. got no brother. It was an illusion. Enough of your tricks! <laughs> Edna.
Oh my god! Thanks for luring them out! I owe you one! Zavid. Now come on out, you old coot! Lord Melchior. Melchior. Breaking through my double illusion. Impressive. I make it a point not to fall for the same tricks twice. I shouldn't have let you get away last time. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> what? Why am I here? Her consciousness has returned, so that is its power. He turned her into a demon. What? This can't be happening. The chain reaction. Your Reaper's curse is quite the dreadful affliction, isn't it? Don't you run away! Heads up! Wyvern's coming! Okay, legendary Wyvern, weak to Why earth. Why would an exorcist create a demon? Hey, worry about that later. We've got damn dragons to take care of. I'll finish this! Blades of wind, slice them! Okay, I need this item, man. It's so annoying. Yes. Take that! Devour! Make a sonic thrust! Crash through! Got you! Finish! Relic Tray! Fate to attack! Make sure it comes! Here! Spyro! Hail! Crimson Sermon! Play me! How could this happen? Make a sonic thrust! Crash through! 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 Other one. Looks like you got caught in your own trap, old man. Oh, are you sure about that? What the? I'll take care of the last one. He just saved the wyvern? You folks jump in and kill without a second thought. Is that your creed? Marvelous. Your Siegfried is just the power I've been looking for. What? 
My work here is done. The hell did you do? Wait, damn you! He copied him. Four thousand, nice. Shadow flow, we got shadow flow. Okay, what is shadow flow? Shadow flow. Uh, earth and wind. Okay, shadow flow. Put it here. Where the hell did they go? Find them. They can't have gotten far. Okay, where did he go? Up? Simple ribbon. It's the same. Okay, but this is uh, much better though. Tranquilo. Okay, so we need to just head down and out probably. Yeah, let's run out. You sure got some speedy legs for an old fart. I'm glad to see you're okay, Zavid. It's not me that I'm worried about. Melchior was highly interested in your weapon. And yet he didn't steal it. Surely a legate like him could snatch it if he wanted to. Why bother stealing it? When you can just copy its hidden formula. And Some arts can decipher that? the workings of other arts in a split second. And guess what Melchior's specialty is? As he left, he said, My work here is done. The Abbey must have some use for that unknown art. Who knows what? After all, they brought it here from another continent. <laughs> then we'll find out what they're after and crush it to dust. Let me ask you just one question. Why do you have Siegfried? I'm counting on you, he said. Back when I served the exorcists. They sent me on a mission to capture Eifried. Savid, you were once their slave? Yeah. My mind was under the influence of Inominat's domain. But when Eifried aimed this baby at me, one shot was all it took to open my eyes. The fight we had after that was one for the books. <laughs> he might have been a human, but that guy was a beast. Put a song in my soul. But then Melchior had to jump in and spirit Eifried away with one of his damned illusions. That old bastard! Playing tricks with people's minds. But why'd he grab Eifried and not Siegfried when he had the chance? He probably didn't know at the time that this guy was the real prize he was after. But Eifried knew. Right before he was taken, he distracted Melchior long enough to hand Siegfried over to me. <sighs> well, that's all I know. Whether you believe me or not, is up to you. Got it. We're done here. Huh? That was easy. Eifried only says I'm counting on you to people he trusts. Is that so? So, what are you gonna do now? 
Gonna keep looking for Eifried. Still gotta give this back and settle our score. I doubt you have much time left to get that done. I'd hazard a guess that until now, Melchior was unaware what Siegfried could really do. In other words, he and the Exorcists weren't able to interrogate anything out of their captive. And now that Eifried's no longer needed, I see no reason for them to keep him alive. <sighs> you think I don't know that? If you really want to save Eifried, you probably ought to team up with us. Nope. No can do. Why not? You lot will do anything to achieve your goals. Even kill. <gasps> Sorry, I'm a fighter, not a killer. I won't steal a single life. That's just my creed. And I've got no intention of changing our pirate creed either. Aizen and Zavid have their own creeds. They both have such strong principles, even though they're so different. Just like humans. Okay, Melchior's illusions. Well, that was sure something. Melchior and his illusions are cheats. There's no cheating in combat. What I meant is that they were awfully dirty tricks for an upstanding exorcist. And the illusions seemed so real. Had that gone on any longer, I wouldn't have been able to tell what was real and what was fake. If it can't be distinguished from reality, perhaps one could live a happier life within the illusion. Hmm. <laughs> that sort of happiness can rot. You think so? But by using illusions, you can defeat an opponent without causing them any physical harm. Oh, how humane. Wow, the Abbey is so great. Lord Melchior is an exemplary man who has served Lord Artorias since before the Abbey's founding. He's done everything from logistical planning to defense strategy and even political negotiations. He shows the utmost concern, even for his opponents, so... He turned a friendly Moloch into a dragon. Th that was... Physical wounds can heal. Emotional wounds never fully fade. Yeah, but... Don't lose heart, Eleanor. Foul play is foul play, but you're talking to a demon and a witch. Who can judge? I appreciate that you're trying to console me, but as an exorcist, I cannot accept this. Okay, can we warp back? To poor Kroneed? To Reneed, I mean. Okay, maybe we need to go out first. Yeah, we need to go out of this place. The Bornock. Bornock Plateau, right? Bor <coughs> Bornock. Sorry, sir. I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all. But do you know anything else about it, Rokoro? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... kablooey. Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Okay, the girl with the umbrella. Okay, I want to see this. Um, Laffy said? May I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like Vel- Ah! Uh, shh! What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. 
She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on now. Like, a wife he wants to leave but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is... A daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. Right. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see. Did they show uh, Edna's face? I didn't. Re I, I didn't uh, actually see or realize it because Zabid shot her in the head. I think before she she was gonna turn red, or the camera was gonna turn, and then Zabid shot her, and <laughs> she died, and the illusion was gone. Okay, you can warp to Renid now. gonna do what's wrong this dog came up with a book in its mouth here take a look huh it looks pretty old I've never seen this kind of writing before it's not ancient Avarost that's for sure part of it looks like a chronology so maybe it's a history book if I were to guess I'd say they're Meliodasian characters which would peg it at about 2,000 years old it's more recent than Avarost but the writing has fallen completely out of use all kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. Okay, let's go to Videl. Yeah, another uh, exclamation mark unlocked. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Videl? Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me! Thank you. Uh... I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Meliodasian script? You recognize Meliodasian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the Age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Look at those two, all worked up over an old buck. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. <sighs> We've received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're onto us. Quickly, hide in my house. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh.
Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too! Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Videl. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay! Okay, we got a recipe. Yeah, but I saw a flower here, right? Lavender. Okay, there are a lot of people here. This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy. An estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes 1 through 3 have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So, Class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class 4 administrative zones? I've heard of 10 such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna wanna be prepared.
Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Warwick Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave poor for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. Okay, let's go to Benwick. We can go to Class 4 Island now, but... First mate! Can we even defeat right! the enemies there? Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! E... You stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. <sighs> okay, we can go to Assault now. Okay, guys, I will end the episode here. So we're going to go to Assault in the next one. So I'm going to see you then. Bye-bye.